welcome to my channel ITJ Olympiad and AP Physics with Ambarish and uh, in today's video I brought in a very interesting and uh, very important concept in mechanics that is the concept of method of virtual work. Uh, you might have heard the name of method of virtual work uh, in many places but uh, many textbooks at the ITJ level do not uh, give much insight into the method. So in this video I am trying to give you an insight into the method of virtual work and why the method works. Okay, So I will be giving you two examples of application as well as uh, the proof of the method of virtual work. So what is the method of virtual work? So problem statement is when a system without internal friction is in equilibrium under action of various external forces then the net work done by external forces in small perturbation of the system that is virtual perturbation from the equilibrium position is zero and we need to prove this. Now probably you did not get uh, what the statement means but uh, as I uh, explain it through an example you will be able to get it exactly what it means. So it is saying something about the perturbation that is uh, changing the state of the system from equilibrium position to slightly off equilibrium you can say you can ma making small changes in the configuration of the system that is what we mean by perturbation. and. Uh, what is the virtual work? So uh, this statement is right now profound. We will see the meaning of this statement through the example. So let us uh, look at an example. So let us say uh, you have a problem like this. There is a table top of mass M let us say and uh, table top of mass capital M this blue color is supported by an X shaped frame. So there is an X shaped frame formed by two massless rectangular parts. So there will be a rectangular part going into the plane. So for uh, two dimensional purpose we can just think of it as a rod. So there is a rod and there is another rod and there is a pivot in between uh, and uh, the table top is supported on this and you know that it is not going to stay simply supported unless there is a uh, something uh, at the bottom to prevent the slipping of this. Okay, so it's a whole thing. Assembly is on a smooth horizontal surface. There's no friction. So formed by two massless rectangular parts, free to rotate about a common frictionless pivot and prevented from collapsing by help of a string. So this red colored thing is a string which is preventing uh, the collapse of the uh, this frame. Okay, as shown in the figure. And our task is to calculate the tension in the string. Okay. So you know that uh, the string will be in tension because otherwise if the string is not in tension you know that whole thing will come down. Okay. So now how do we use the method of virtual work in calculating this and what do I mean by perturbation. So let us see. Now imagine suppose uh, the, I replace the red string by an elastic cord instead of uh, a normal uh, rope kind of a thing. Suppose I put an elastic cord over here. And this elastic cord suppose has exactly the same tension as the tension in the actual string. So this, this is imaginary elastic string I have put but it, the tension of this string is supposed to be exactly the same as the tension in the original string. Okay. And will the system stay in equilibrium? Suppose I replace the original string by a string of identical tension but this time it is an elastic string. So will the system stay in equilibrium? So so for equilibrium forces need to be balanced right. So so long as you are providing the same force as the original system original string it is uh, the system must stay in the equilibrium because system does not know how that force is happening uh, force is coming. So even if it is an elastic cord providing the same amount of force the system will still stay in equilibrium. Okay. Yes, so because the equilibrium has to only do only to do with the force and not the source of the force. Okay, okay. So now uh, what did, what did we accomplish through this? We just put an elastic cord over here, and now there's a gra gravity acting over here. So what do I wh how do I argue further from here? So now my further argument is that for stable equilibrium the system must be in least potential energy state with respect to the variable theta. So now uh, suppose you press the table a little bit you know that this theta will uh, reduce a little bit and this uh, string will stretch right or if you suppose uh, move this uh, top up a little bit then theta will increase and this cord will the cord length will decrease right. So now there are two potential energies involved here. There is a potential energy associated with the gravitational potential energy of the table top and there is an elastic potential energy associated with the uh, elastic energy half kx square of the string. So my claim is that uh, for the stable configuration the summation of gravitational potential energy plus summation of the elastic potential energy must be the minimum. Okay. For stable equilibrium the system must be in the least potential energy with respect to the variable theta. Okay. Otherwise with the slightest perturbation the system would gain kinetic energy or collapse to some other state. 
okay so for example uh, suppose so my claim is that uh, as you are varying theta so you will get some potential energy versus theta girl right so gravitational potential energy will change with theta elastic potential energy will change with theta and you will get some u versus theta girl so where the system is equilibrium it must be somewhere here because if suppose uh, potential energy is somewhere over here so as soon as you disturb the system let's say you change theta by a little bit potential energy reduces and system gains kinetic energy if system is gaining kinetic energy it will uh, keep on reducing its potential energy and keep on increasing kinetic energy until it reaches the point of lowest potential energy and from there uh, if there are no dissipative forces it might get into simple harmonic motion kind of a thing but you know that uh, when that uh, motion uh, sets into an equilibrium final equilibrium position then it will be uh, resting in the lowest potential energy state right so potential energy is minimum or we can say for the entire system du by d theta should be zero right here du by d theta is zero or we can say du should be zero right because if th d theta is very small then du by d theta zero simply implies that du is zero which physically means what so the point of minima doesn't only mean that the slope over here is zero it also means that for small changes in theta u remains almost constant right du by d theta zero means for small changes in theta u practically remains constant all right so this will be our basis of method of virtual work all right so let's look at the next slide now uh, we are analyzing this so potential energy is involved here are what gravitational potential energy of the table top and the elastic potential energy of the elastic cord all right so i said that since the system is in equilibrium so du is zero so du is zero means what du gravitational plus du elastic that is the du associated with the tension in the string the sum of these two is zero and uh, you know that potential energy is nothing but negative of work done by the uh, conservative forces right so change in gravitational potential energy is nothing but negative work done by gravity right and change in elastic potential energy is nothing but uh, negative work done by the tension forces if the negative of gravity work and negative of tension work is zero that means what you multiply whole thing by minus one and you can say that work done by gravity plus work done by tension must be equal to zero okay so and this is this is what we wanted to prove so when i said the principle of virtual work i said that work done by external forces summation of work done by external forces for a small virtual displacement is zero so this is what i meant okay so if you change theta by a small amount the gravity work will be there elastic string work will be there but the sum of the two works will be equal to zero and uh, now we are going to apply so this this we have proved the principle of virtual work okay. so now let's apply the principle of virtual work to make it more con concrete okay so now let's say the, the vertical coordinate of the table top from the ground let us say this is y so y is equal to what y is 2 l sin theta you can see from this y is l sin theta plus l sin theta okay so y is 2 l sin theta and if you change theta by some amount either increase or decrease it so let's say d theta is change in the value of theta so then dy will be equal to 2 l cos theta d theta right simply just differentiate this and you get dy small change in y is 2 l cos theta d theta all right and to avoid confusion uh, you just put a j cap over here just to avoid any confusion so this dy is 2l cos theta d theta it doesn't matter d theta is positive or negative but i can always say that small displacement is 2l cos theta d theta okay so what is the work done by gravity so let's say this is 2l cos theta d theta j cap and mg is acting in minus j cap so you just take the dot product of four, uh, force and displacement so work done by gravity in small virtual displacement i'm calling it virtual because from equilibrium position we are just imagining a change of theta to theta plus d theta that's all so virtual work done by gravity is minus 2 mgl cos theta d theta just the dot product of gravitational force and the uh, this uh, virtual displacement all right this is the virtual work done by the gravitational force now what about the work done by the string tension so if you see uh, let's say the horizontal coordinate of uh, this point with respect to the pivot is x so x can be written as what x is l cos theta okay so dx is minus l sin theta d theta right just differentiate this with respect to theta and you get minus l sin theta d theta and to avoid confusion just put an i cap over here so this is minus l sin theta d theta i cap okay so this is the displacement i cap is right right hand side and this tension is acting in the minus i cap direction if you take the dot product so what you will get small amount of work done by tension will be 
so uh, cos 180 will cancel this minus uh, sign and you get dw tension is tl sin theta d theta so that's just uh, on this end but you know that identical amount of work will also be done on the left hand side because here also string tension is acting inwards on the frame okay and uh, so, so therefore i have multiplied it by 2 so this is the work done by tension now what does the principle of virtual work say that summation of work done by the gravity plus summation of the work done by this tension should be equal to 0 all right so we just uh, take the two and add them and equate to zero and just we need to now solve for tension so you just rearrange this equation and you get t is equal to mg cot theta so this problem we have solved using the principle of virtual work so this problem seems rather easy so now i'm going to take one more problem from pathfinder on the principle of virtual work so let's see the problem from pathfinder so this is the popular problem from pathfinder and it can be done using torque method and force method but that turns out to be very cumbersome for this problem and uh, with method of virtual work this problem is just a breeze so let's see how to apply the method of virtual work to this problem so the problem is that we have a frame uh, with four rods uh, i mean this rod is l and this whole long rod is length 2l okay this rod is l and this lo long rod is length 2l okay and there's a pivot over here there's a pivot over here and all the pivots are frictionless and there also here also there's a pivot and this pivot middle pivot and the bottom pivot they're connected using a uh, string and i am supposed to find out the tension in the connecting string okay and I've shown some coordinates which I'll be using for showing the virtual displacements finally. And uh, there's a gravity force acting due, due to mass m. So as I argued earlier, suppose instead of a normal string, I replace this with an elastic string having the same tension. So then uh, again, we can say that elastic string potential energy plus gravitation potential energy sum is minimum or we can say for small virtual displacement, the work done by gravity plus work done by the elastic tension uh, must be equal to zero. So that's what we are going to do. So let's see this in action. Okay. So now Y is what? So Y is the vertical coordinate of this lower pivot. So you can also say effective coordinate of this mass M. Okay. So Y is what? Nothing but 4L cos theta. So this is L and uh, sorry 4l sin theta so this is l so this is l sin theta and this is l sin theta so 2l sin theta plus 2l sin theta this becomes y becomes 4l sin theta okay so that means what small amount of displacement will be what 4l cos theta d theta all right so that's the small amount of displacement of this block uh, m okay if theta changes to theta plus d theta okay so that means what work done by gravity will be what so displacement is 4l cos theta d theta, d theta j cap and this is mg j cap so 4 mgl cos theta d theta so this is the work done by gravity for a virtual displacement right now let's see what is the work done by the elastic tension in this virtual displacement so uh, x is the coordinate of this pivot middle pivot from the top top so x is what x is 2l sin theta so dx is what dx will be 2l cos theta d theta so this pivot will replace uh, displace virtually by 2l cos theta d theta if i change theta by uh, by a small amount d theta so this is this displacement is 2l cos theta d theta and you can put in this direction if you want you can put a j cap even though shown it by an x this y also shown it's up to you okay so it's downward direction uh, we can say uh, downward direction if you want i cap you can uh, say so this pivot is moving down by 2l cos theta d theta and what about this this pivot we calculated earlier for uh, 4l cos theta d theta and now elastic tension you see on this pivot the elastic tension is acting upwards and on this pivot elastic tension is acting downwards so i have to consider the summation of both the works so what do i get for work so dw tension is for the upper pivot it is downward tension and downward displacement so it is 2tl cos theta d theta on the lower pivot the displacement is downward tension is acting upward and displacement is 4l cos theta d theta so it becomes minus 4tl cos theta d theta all right so this is the virtual work done by the string tension on the lower uh, lower pivot and upper pivot so total it becomes what total is minus 2tl cos theta d theta all right so that's our virtual work for the tension and as per the virtual work principles so work done by tension uh, for a virtual displacement plus work done by gravity for the virtual displacement should be summation should be equal to zero so that's what we are doing and you just add these two so this is the work done by gravity for virtual displacement this is work done by tension for virtual displacement add the two and equate to zero and this is the equation you get and if you solve the equation you get tension as 2mg all right 
so uh, that was uh, my demonstration of method of virtual work for the pathfinder problem and i hope uh, you li like this uh, solution and if you did like this solution please do subscribe to my channel and uh, share this video as much as possible with your friends who are preparing for olympiads or uh, uh, itj advanced and please do give it a thumbs up and thank you very much for watching this video i hope you liked it and uh, Please do keep coming back to my channel for more exciting stuff that is in pipeline. That's all for this video and see you in the next one.